What's going on guys? Chu here bringing you a, another review slash reaction on Ed and Zero. And in this chapter, we focused a lot on seeing the, I guess, at least in my opinion, the kind of like childish side of Joker. We see that Joker is very focused and fixated on one thing. We also get to see that one of the most, I guess, pressing questions for shippers is being asked in this one as well. And quite honestly, typical Mashima leaving people hanging. I guess people are just going to continue to theorize and think, oh no, there is proof and whatnot. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. But before I continue, guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I like the jazz. Helps out tremendously. And recently, you guys have been very supportive to the channel with your views, the likes, and sometimes your comments. I appreciate that. It really does mean a lot to me, truly and honestly. But let's get into it. So we start off with having this chapter, having both the well, Joker and Old Lies, Rebecca and Shaky going up against each other still and we see that uh, good old old wise wants to fight against joker by creating his own version of things and like trying to change things and i thought that was kind of cool however we also get to see joker as i was saying earlier being more fixated on wanting to continue to go up against rebecca and we have her saying no fair no fair no fair oh, repeatedly throughout many times throughout the chapter where she felt like some of the changes that were being done were not up to her favor. And I understand, but at the same time, it's like Old Wise has the ability to do this. So he's using his ability to the best of it. And I'm glad to see that he's doing all these things in order to help out. Unfortunately, that does become a bit of a problem later on. We also get to see what's going on with wise regular i guess you could say younger wise and what is going on with hamura and all of them we see that they're having still having to deal with the other jokers and we have him creating some like some missiles which is kind of cool uh, he plays them under underground in order to get to them but i love seeing how like there is this little moment here where hamura was kind of like smiling and kind of like giving him props I don't want to say it was a romantic moment by no means. I definitely don't think that. I don't think that Wise and Hamura are like meant to be together. In my opinion, quite honestly, if anything, this version of Wise needs to be with, and some people may agree with me or not, but Hermit. Like it feels like there's something there between those two. It just feels like there could be, and I could be wrong, but I think that is one of the most obvious things or, or at least more noticeable between the two of them and it wouldn't be wrong if they were to got together just my opinion uh, but then we get to see going back to the battle here uh, between joker and them we see that joker really was not a fan of having the giant happy robot uh, we see that that was put like pretty much added in and it was not to their favor like she did not like that and we see how destructive this giant happy was like holy cannoli like just having a giant happy like that was something i haven't seen in a long time like we hadn't seen happy like that or at least a mechanized happy like this and i thought it was kind of cool so it was really nice that they decided to go with that direction to create something like that but we see that with joker still having control over some of the situation we actually see her changing it up creating like this fog and this fog actually separates the three of them and we see that the rebecca is actually trapped she's strapped up to a chair she's actually unable to move until of course later in the chapter but we then get to see this moment here where honestly i felt like a bit felt left field in my opinion because we didn't really need it and that was seeing both Shiki and Old Wise having this conversation about his feelings. Like, are you Rebecca's boyfriend? Like, I did not expect that to be asked. But, of course, with Mashima, it's like, we're going to give you this random, like, question moment. But we're going to not be able to give you the answer because the circumstances aren't important enough for you to know. Because he's drowning. And so it's like, really? Like, I wasn't expecting that. While that is happening, though, we have Rebecca escaping and wanting to find 
where Shiki and Professor is at. So really good way of ending the chapter there with a little bit of a tease there when it comes, like I said, with, with shippers that are for Rebecca and Shiki. But let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy this chapter? And again, apologies for the tardiness on this. I really do apologize. Let me know though. As always, I'll stay safe and I'll catch you all later.